It wasn't a great week for Salman Khan, as the actor not only saw a poor response to his recent release Jai Ho, but also had to make a quick trip to Jodhpur for his yet another pending court case. Salman made his first appearance to record a statement in the Arms Act case in relation to the Black Buck poaching case of 1998 in Jodhpur on Wednesday. The actor appealed for the two ongoing cases to be combined and denied all charges in his statement. The next date for the case is set for March 10, 2014, a long-drawn case which will drag on for more years to come. Madhuri Dikshit Nene painted Banaras pink quite literally as she made a quick trip to the city for the music launch of her next Gulab Gang. The city transformed into shades of pink when Madhuri got crooning for the huge crowd. Farhan Akhtar took to stage after a long time to say rock on to the huge crowd gathered for him. Farhan the singer performed with his band Farhan Live at a Mumbai college festival attended by close to 10,000 students. Needless to say, the audience just couldn't get enough. It was the second photo op for the Queen of Melody Lata Mangeshkar with the BJP Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi. Lata Mangeshkar shared the dais with the politician in Mumbai amidst a humongous crowd, where the legendary singer revisited her beautiful rendition of the patriotic song E Mere Vatan Ke Logo. E mere vatan ke logo. But a day after the event, Congress hit back at the legendary singer, saying she should be careful about her larger-than-life persona being misused for political gains. And finally, the week gone by saw an international twist in the Jia Khan suicide case. Jia Khan's mother Rabia Khan roped in the US government to aid the investigation into the case since Jia is an American citizen. Rabia wrote to the American consulate seeking their intervention into the case and they responded by giving Rabia the FBI support for supervision into the case if permitted by the Indian government.